everyone, I'm Nicole Menner. Welcome back to Twin States News. Right now, the Mississippi State Bulldogs are taking on Penn State in the Final Four matchup of the NIT Tournament at Madison Square Garden in the Big Apple. It's a battle of four seeds playing to make it to the championship game on Thursday night. Over the weekend, Coach Ben Howland spoke about the honor his kids will have playing at the world's most famous arena. Uh, looking forward to uh, the experience of playing in the Garden for our team, our players. I, I, I know how special that is having coached there before and uh, you know every great player in the history of the game has played in MSG in Madison Square Garden. So this will be a, a great experience for our team and our, our uh, players. And On Sunday, the Louisville Cardinals and the Mississippi State women both punched their tickets to the Final Four after MSU took down UCLA. And last night, UConn and Notre Dame scored wins to complete this weekend's schedule over in Ohio. All four teams enter the final weekend of the season as one seeds, just the fourth time this has happened since back in 1982. UConn will enter the weekend as the lone undefeated team, making their 11th straight trip to the Final Four, while the Irish battled through injuries all year long just to make it this far and draw UConn. On the other side of the bracket, MSU making their second straight appearance, taking on Louisville Friday night at 7. The Mississippi State football team will get a chance to showcase their skills as MSU hosts their annual Pro Day tomorrow at their football complex. A total of 16 players will participate, including 11 seniors from the 2017 squad. Players will go through six measurable drills, including the 40-yard dash, bench press, and vertical jump, just to name a few. And they'll conclude the day with position workouts on site. All right, sticking with football, after a season where we were constantly asking ourselves, what is a catch? All 32 owners voted today to change the rule. So a catch now being defined as having control, being in bounds, and making a football move such as a third step or reaching the ball out to gain yards. So the biggest takeaway here is that maintaining control all the way through the ground is no longer required. So the Jesse James catch from last season that we see here would have been good under the new rules. All right, over to the green. Stroke play returns to the PGA Tour this week after Bubba Watson took home the WGC match play on Sunday. The Houston Open kicks off tomorrow and is the final tournament before the Masters, so a number of stars will be on the green trying to fine-tune their games for the Augusta National. Russell Henley is defending his title after punching the final Masters invite ticket last year in Houston. We can expect to see Jordan Spieth, Phil Mickelson, Henrik Stenson, Justin Rose, and Ricky Fowler out in Texas, just a few of the 19 in the field who are set to play at Augusta. All right, over to baseball. According to sources, Atlanta Braves top prospect Ronald Acuna rejected a $30 million contract extension offer from the team. The deal would have been in the range of five or six years. He's widely considered the top prospect in all of baseball, batting 432 with four home runs in 16 spring games this season. He'll start the year in the minors to allow the Braves to gain an extra year of contractual control over the star outfielder, and Atlanta will have to keep him there until April 13th to limit his service time, preventing him from becoming a free agent until 2024. He would have hit free agency a year earlier had he made the team's opening day roster. And speaking of baseball, opening day is now just two days away. We're getting you all ready for it. The Braves will be hosting the Phillies with Julio Tehran getting the opening day start, marking the first Brave to do it in five straight seasons. The Phillies will remain in Atlanta on Friday and Saturday and then host the Washington Nationals for a three-game set yes. in Atlanta. Yes, looking forward to it. This very is kind of that time of year where mm -hmm. we still got basketball going yep. on. We got the baseball starting. Crossover season, yes. but I'm very excited for baseball. I think start. a lot of people are. Thanks. 